Okie dokie, let's try this again. Get the best view possible, throttle is up. I know I didn't put batteries on the top there, but I don't think I'll need them. Uh, I hope I'm not wrong about that, but I think we'll be fine. Hmm. Anyway, alright. Well, that's strange. I powered down, but it didn't register the fact... Oh, wow. It just totally decoupled itself for some reason. I know you can't see it, but I didn't press decouple, and it just... it, it It's no longer there, the rest of the rocket. Huh. That's interesting. Uh... Note to self for future reference. Well, that explains why. Oh, let me get the solar panels out, even though it's in the dark. Um, that explains why I couldn't throttle down. It had actually broken off. Okay, well, not the ideal situation right now. Let's see, running there is a bad idea. Let's see, I burn here. That's a bit better. Okay. So, let me actually... Uh, if I press spacebar, it should just activate these engines, right? Okay. Alright, uh, well, we're still depleting electric charge, so let me hold off on turning on the lights. Let's just get to our orbital burn here. Interesting, I haven't had a rocket uh, after passing the atmosphere, mind you, break apart like that. Very disturbing. Or at least it's been a very long time. Might have remembered doing something like that with a similar stage, actually, but a while back. Okay, so we're in light now. Very good. And we could use a little bit more. Alright, now set that as target. This has not been the most impressive way to go, but let's say we do some sort of burn here. And first, let's fix that inclination. And then... That makes things worse. That's very costly. So that's all we do, fix inclination. Don't really need the maneuver node for that. OK. 
Okay, so when are we going to be able to meet up with this little guy? Let's say we do something here, perhaps? Hmm. That looks a bit better. Aha! Okay, okay. That looks fine. Alright, that does not look bad at all. It'll require us to do a pretty hefty burn once we get there, but that shouldn't be too bad. Oh, that's interesting. We blew off the the docking port as well. That's gonna complicate things. Oh, that's that's really gonna complicate things. I was hoping to just keep this on there, but I guess we can't do that. I guess it must have been the structural integrity between the docking port and the fuel tank that failed. That happens. I should have strutted it up more. That's that's why I put so many struts, guys. Sometimes weird things happen. Now let's use RCS to fix that. Okay, so we have our intercept. We'll have to undock the lander in order to dock this and fuel up, and then redock the lander. We have a huge burn to meet up with the target. Nah, electric charge is an issue. Should have put those batteries after all. Oh wait, this this isn't the right one. That's the right one. Oh darn, oh darn, oh darn. Ah. Uh, that's when you know you've got too much space junk. Okay, as before, let me use the Lambda 4 in order to do the docking and approach because because it's more efficient. Let's see if we can switch to it. Nope. Not the lander. That one. Okay, now. There we go. This should be very interesting.
Okay, time to get all our ducks in a row. Or whatever other way you want to put it. Now obviously we don't have a docking port free right now, but we are going to change that. But only after we get close. Okay, so here comes the tricky part. I'm going to undock this, switch to it, use RCS to move it off to one side, which is tricky because uh, so we need uh, SAS to help out with that because the RCS ports are on the top, not really balanced here. Okay. Then once I think it's clear, I can zero out its velocity and let it just stand by. I think that's good enough. And I want to set this as a target. Okay, well it looks like it's zeroed out. Let me make sure it's facing it though. Okay, and maybe it'd be prudent to back away a little bit. So that's going to be in a holding position. Let me switch back over here. And actually I'll have the uh, this one do the docking. Okay, all connected up. Uh, a bit wobbly though. Alright, so transferring fuel. Looking at it, it might still not be uh, as much as I would have wanted. No, I, I think it'll be alright. Let's see. Okay, so we finished a fuel transfer and actually we had a little bit left over, but it, it's not enough to have made a difference. So the first thing we're going to do is actually decouple this part, which is now, I mean I transferred the mod propellant and everything, even filled this tank up, and uh, so it should be, that's the end of it. Okay, now this pod is going to be hanging out in, uh, in Kerbin orbit until we do conduct the rescue mission. So right now though it's going to decouple and separate from that pod and I'm going to have it back away 
and back off like this. Now, now we need to get the lander back and it's drifted away quite a bit as you can see. So let's actually let's switch to oh, lots of stuff to switch to. Switch to this and set that as a target. Actually, this is moving away in the same direction. That's unfortunate. Whoa. It's not as close as you might think, but still. Oh, SAS, SAS, please. Still sorta in the way. But let's just kill relative velocity for now. All right. All right, let's have the lander approach. That seems to be drifting off in a decent direction, so. With all these other bits floating around, I have to be a little bit careful. Excellent. So, let's, uh, without further ado, now if I time warp, am I going to be, well, I'll time warp using the flag. So we have to figure out how to get to Elu now. And looking at my notes, it looks like the phase angle that we're looking for is for Elu to be 101 degrees ahead of Kerbin. Right now Elu is behind Kerbin, so we've got a lot of time warping to do. And I'm going to switch to the flag on Minmus. Uh, well, I guess I'll have to do that at the tracking station. All right, so see you at the flag. Can't really see the flag very well, but that's inconsequential. We need to transfer to Elu. Now, taking a look at it, set uh, Kerbin on the x-axis, if you will, and then wait till Elu goes right around here, I guess. Hopefully, uh, now that everything's on rails, nothing will collide with anything else we've got a lot of junk that's close to each other okay that looks like our transfer window let me just hold up a protractor up there and yeah that looks like a hundred degrees to me it should be 101 but it's not like I'm gonna get that kind of accuracy alright so uh, back to our mission and let's hope it's still in one piece or yeah, well, our mission should be in one piece. Let's hope all the pieces are still in orbit properly. Okay, indeed, here we are, and there is no other mission in sight. We are going to target Elu. Though we can't really see what the inclination issue might be yet. Seems like we're going to be coming in on the quick part of Elu's orbit, the part where it's closest to the sun, so that's good. And maybe we can burn up from a periapsis, which would be really good. Let's see. Mm, we're probably going to need more than 600 to satisfy Elu. Yeah, look at that. It's actually the part of Elu's orbit that is closer than Joule, which is nice. But we're not quite burning at periapsis, so that's not quite so good. We're going to have to calculate both this and the plane change burn, otherwise we're not going to get a proper sense of how close or far off we might be. You can take a look at that. That's a huge gap. So let's say we do this burn. 
maybe let's see looks like we need to be a little bit further out I mean this view sort of doesn't quite tell the right story I think alright but let's say we do a plane change make course plane change okay wait wait alright and let's go back to this one and see if we can't refine that a little bit oh so many numbers okay oh it's gonna do that dance with me okay let's say that and maybe Aha, okay, Elu periapsis. Let's get that. I mean, of course, uh, whatever I do here will be completely dependent on how well I can burn my initial burn, which rarely happens perfectly. So we're talking about 2,200-ish for the total approach to Elu. That's not bad. That's certainly not as bad as, as uh, Moho was. At least from my memory of it, my nightmares. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you can see our lander is actually wiggling on the docking port. That's always really annoying. I don't like to see that. Okay. Let's put it back on rails and get to our maneuver. I think we should probably start burning soon rather than later. But we're so far off from the progate vector we'll probably be regretting that. Okay, now would be a good time I think. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, well, nothing for it except to complete this burn, so see you at the end of it. Okay, we're approaching the end of our burn. And it's cost quite a lot. I mean, you can see it that is reminiscent of the Moho trip, so not, not the most auspicious way to begin. At least, like I said, the inclination change shouldn't be quite as bad. Nor should the burn once we get there, considering... I mean, we do have to... Once we get there, we're basically burning all of this, right? We have to match Mo, uh, Ilu's uh, orbit. So that is quite substantial, but I, I think that shouldn't be too bad. I haven't been to Ilu before. I did send a mission to Elu previously, but uh, on that mission, I it, there was Iron Cross crew support installed, and the poor Kerbal actually got suffocated by CO2 because the scrubber deactivated for some reason. It had been activated initially, but en route it deactivated when I checked up on him. So that was not good. So yeah, I've never landed on Elu before, never even been there, so we'll see how it works out. Well, I'm going to probably stop this burn now, because I think we're probably quite far off from the intended situation anyway, so I'm going to have to replot this. Aha, okay. Hmm, that's still pretty far away from Elu. 
Okay, 30 kilometers. Now that's more like it. But that will require us to hit this particular maneuver very, very carefully indeed. And that's probably not going to happen. I... Yeah, the fuel situation is interesting. I intend to land this time. I'm not going to have a repeat of Moho. If we have to rescue them, we have to rescue them. Okay, so let me uh, join you again at uh, mid-course plane change. Okay, we're coming up on it. And a few more hours. And past it as usual. Okay. So, where's the sun? Quite distant now. But it'll get further away. Okay, so here we go. Let's see how close we can get now. False advertising, 30,000 meters indeed. It's actually 24 million, but maybe we can correct that. Maybe we can bring it in closer. Let's see. It's not like Lilu has uh, amazing influence as far as bringing us in helping us get into orbit is concerned it doesn't but I just want to minimize how much annoyance I have once I get there and the closer we are the longer we have to get into orbit Okay, that'll do. Really? It didn't help at all. Hmm. Well, okay, it's, it's helping now. It's very jittery. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll just have to take that. All right. So, see you in Elu's sphere of influence.